So, yeah, thanks heaps everyone for coming. I'm sure all the occupiers that are facing court today really appreciate your very um, lovely themed solidarity protest as well. Um, so yeah, as Scarlett explained, um, the lawyers are getting the papers, they're gonna have a meeting. So the whole, I guess, the process today might take at, at least until noon or so for the lawyers to kind of figure out the rest of their ideas for the the High Court challenge and then have a chat with everyone as a group and everyone as individuals about whether or not they want to pursue that and, and figure out other options for representation. So if people can stick around until at least noon, that would be great. From about half past nine, we can head in to level four courtroom, just gather outside at the moment, courtroom 4.4. Just to explain when you go in, um, there are security things you may or may not be able to bring the tents in, <laughs> just to flag, but you can certainly give it a go. Um, and then, yeah, so from about half past nine, <laughs> okay, yep, from about half past nine, we can we can head up, but otherwise, for those of you that are down here, obviously, you can have a chat with people about why we're here, about why we're here in support of the 13 occupiers that are facing court, and, yeah, facing some quite ridiculous charges, and the need to continue occupying Sydney. So, thanks. Thanks, man. I should take the opportunity to thank uh, particularly Winnie and Scarlett and those others uh, who have been part of the legal team supporting those of us who got arrested uh, and everything. It's great to see everyone here. I'm sure that the occupiers that are facing court today really appreciate your support, as do the 16 other people that are facing court over the next, or have faced court throughout the course of Occupy Sydney. And as we know, there have been almost 60 arrests so far. Um, 30 of those have led to, to charges, uh, 16 to fines, and a further 12 fines have been given out. So it's certainly not um, a, a simple picture of policing that we've experienced. Um, and if people are free tomorrow, um, I'd encourage you to come along to Newtown Local Court to support uh, one of the occupiers that is facing five charges out of Occupy Sydney and then on the on Thursday the 15th of December we'll be back here to support the three people that have been charged with trespass for tre sheltering under the awning of the Reserve Bank um, from the rain they were charged with trespass um, which is pretty shameful in, in our in our collective opinions um, so what's happening today is that the 13 people their cases are being mentioned. Um, what that means is that today, um, those folks will be entering pleas of either guilty or not guilty. At this stage, everyone would like to contest their charges that they receive, mainly in relation to camping. Um, and clearly our, our view, obviously, is that we haven't been camping. This looks, this is camping. This is camping, perhaps, but... <laughs> um, Fence is innocent. The rest, I mean, obviously, clearly, we've been occupying a public space, making a point um, about the need to get together in public spaces for the public to get together to confront what's going on in our world and to do to do something about that. Um, so what's happening today is that the lawyers um, headed by Stuart Littlemore, Queen's Council, are just getting the rest of the papers from the police. Then they'll have a meeting with the 13 people as a group. Um, have a chat to them about what their ideas are about how to contest the charges, um, answer any questions, and then from there go enter into the court and enter those pleas. Um, what they've indicated at this stage is that there'll be a few cases that are run in the High Court um, on, a, on a constitutional challenge, um, basically saying that the police um, were exceeding their powers under the law and that they've overridden our implied right to freedom of political communication. So that's all being sorted today. Um, and then the, everyone else's cases will be adjourned until after that. So that process might actually take a few months. So we'll be occupying the courts into the foreseeable future. But obviously out of the the plans for today and, and the, the reason to be here is obviously that we think that the police have obviously exceeded, have acted unlawfully, that we have the right to do what we're doing, that there is a need to do what we're doing. And it's really great to see everyone here um, to support the people that are facing court already and, and fines, um, but certainly to continue occupying Sydney and to continue talking to each other about how to do that and how to continue organising for, for change and for social justice. 
Um, we had a great fundraiser on Saturday that raised over $1,300 for those of you that were there, which is great. And certainly after court and into the future, come on down to Martin Place because we're still occupying Sydney. Um, and calm down and, and find out what it's all about if you haven't already. So today we can start heading in to court. What, just so if people haven't been to court before, you'll have to put your bag through the security in there. They've already said no tent, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if people wanna, yeah, if people wanna stick around outside to talk to more people about what we're, what we're doing today and about Occupy Sydney, please do that. Um, but otherwise, if you wanna go in, go up to level four, at the moment, meet outside courtroom 4.4. Um, and then the, our brave occupiers today will be um, there chatting with the lawyers and we'll all hang around and we might take at least until noon to kind of figure out what's going on, but I guess we'll try to do updates as we go. My name is Scarlett, I'm part of Occupy Sydney. I'm part of the legal team, the legal support team. We've just been in court this morning, the Downing Centre. 13 people were uh, appeared in court today, just for a mention. So they're, um, basically we spoke to the legal team from Marston's and uh, from Littlemore's team, uh, from Stuart Littlemore QC's team. Uh, and they've had it there, uh, all the cases were stood over until the 3rd of February. Uh, we also, uh, appealing against some of the um, uh, an application to vary the, some of the bail conditions that some people have had on their um, restricting restricting their movements. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a good thing. I guess we're uh, standing over those cases until uh, a couple of test cases, maybe three, will be taken to the High Court, and uh, they'll be challenging the lawfulness of those arrests uh, based on the. Uh, freedom of political communication that's implied into the Constitution of Australia. So uh, there was quite a lot of people there today in support. Never seen so many people in a courtroom, all over the floor, everywhere. I think the registrar was quite unsure of what was going on. So um, we really did occupy the courts at least for a moment. Uh, and hopefully the bail applications will also be successful today. Uh, but of course we've got a whole lot of other people facing charges and uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks we'll be here again and again to support those people.